Hey guys, what is going on? It is Carnate here. Two uploads from me in a week is absolutely crazy, I know, but this is not going to go like any other normal video that I have. This is a very not serious video because it's gonna it it's literally gonna be cringe because I'm talking about a video game. But this video game, Call of Duty, has been part of our lives since we were nine years old. Pardon. We were nine years old. We got experience with Modern Warfare 2 and we were hooked on Call of Duty. We have bought every Call of Duty each and every single year. Even if that game was shit, it turned out to be good. This Nick, the, this cycle, this era of Call of Duty is in the dirt. It's gone. It should be gone. It's, it's done. What I'm talking about when I put my display capture on here is the live reveal event that happened there in Modern Warfare 2 for... The Modern Warfare reveal, obviously, the Modern Warfare 3 reveal. First of all, what happened to the two-year cycle of Modern Warfare 2? That's all I want to know, because if I type it in, if I two, if I type it in here, two-year cycle Modern Warfare 2 in Google. Fans in shock, full call game reportedly coming in 2023. If you needed a quick refresher, two-year cycle. But it was confirmed. It was confirmed, like I know there's an article here, if you need a quick refresher, here's an overview of the recent rumours suggesting Modern Warfare 2 got about a two year cycle, blah blah blah, it's right there, we'll read it together, but I can remember, they definitely confirmed that Modern Warfare 2 was going to be a two year cycle, what happened to that, that's gone out the window, I knew that that wasn't going to be a thing, when they said two year cycle on Call of Duty, I went, oh, and they're releasing it as Modern Warfare 2, which is the inferior Call of Duty to fucking release when you've already got a classic title named Modern Warfare 2. You're going to have to release Modern Warfare 2 as the same expectations as 12 years ago. And it wasn't. It really wasn't. They tried. Fair play. They really fucking tried. But it, it just went shit. It was horrible. So, we move on. The next point is the fact that I don't even know where I'm going here I'm just everywhere with this the fact that all of the right I'm sorry but all of the COD partners right I understand that they get paid to talk about the game they get paid to play the game they get paid to make videos on the game etc etc that is what it is it's a sponsorship it's a business it's how it works I get that make your bag get your bag do whatever the fuck you need to do but please be honest about your opinions. You have been playing this game more than I have in the past years of my life. I have not played this game past or before 2009, sorry. You have. All these COD partners have. Most of them have. But you are telling me that they cannot actually have the balls to go up to the COD partners and say to them, look, your game's going to be shit this year. You need to change this. You need to change that. You need to change this. Instead of just going along with it and being like, uh, I mean, yeah, it could work. Let's just see how it goes. You know what I mean? Like, I don't get that. I was just watching Noah J456 here. And one thing that was just going on, this whole chat was spamming L. Uh, my camera's in the way. You can see the top of it and stuff here. The whole chat was spamming L. And he was asking the chat what they thought. Didn't call out anything about anyone saying any negative opinions about the game. He didn't want to talk about the game. He just kept calling out the comments saying, You're a sellout, Noah. L to the devs, blah, blah, blah. It wasn't anything about the actual game. Which just goes to show, I don't even know what I'm talking about. I don't have the actual sense to know what I'm talking about. But it just goes to show him to me anyway that he is just literally putting on a cap and just going along with it whenever he goes around saying i give my honest opinion on this i said this to them i said that no the one thing that he said there in that live stream that he was putting up on the modern warfare 3 reveal event was he said that he gave their honest opinion he gave his honest opinion about zombies he basically said i can't even remember what points he said to them about whatever the fuck this zombies is going to be this year but he said to them that I'm gonna, I gave my honest opinion. I gave everything I had to say. But then went on to say that I'm still going to be focusing more. An emphasis on more. The custom zombies events and playing custom zombies in general. 
Now think about it. Why would he have to play custom zombies this year? Especially this year. If he's gave his honest opinion to Modern Warfare 3 devs and said, look, your game's not as good as it should be. He basically should have told them, your zombies is not as interesting as what it used to be. This is why I'm playing the old custom zombies. If you make it like what old zombies used to be like, then maybe I'll go back and play it like I used to. But no, he just puts the cap on and goes, all right, I'm just going with it. And then we'll buy the game. We'll play it for three weeks. We'll play all the other custom zombies the entire we'll skip the entire game of modern warfare 3 but play the custom zombies and stuff but then whenever something happens on modern warfare 3 he's gonna go and play it because he's a called partner he has to now i am talking about noah j456 i love noah j456 i have nothing against him but this is pissing me off all of these called partners need to open their mouth all of these people that love cod all these people that call called shit need to stop buying the fucking game and actually put their honest opinion out on the floor and say look your game is dog shit we're not gonna buy it because it's shit stop with it like i know i'm getting cringe i know i'm getting worked about worked up about a video game but come the fuck on i don't get it i really 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 don't get it there's probably a lot of points that i'm missing here i'm going on a big fucking tangent i don't even know what i'm saying but please, please, for the love of God, do not buy this game. Everyone in this chat is saying Call of Duty fell off. Call of Duty's dead. But we'll buy the game this year because that's what they do. I know I was a victim of it last year, but that's literally because I felt alone playing the older Call of Duties because I, I was not connected with the rest of the world. I wanted to feel, I will admit that, I wanted to try and fit in with the rest of the world that was playing Modern Warfare 2. That's the only reason I bought it last year. Otherwise, I would not have bought it. This year, I'm completely fine skipping out because what the fuck is this? What What is going on? What is going on? Someone needs to open their mouth. Someone that's a COD partner needs to fucking get the balls to say your game is shit. Move on. Ah, I could go on for hours. I really could. I want to make this video short because I'm not going to edit it and just throw it straight up because it's... It's really annoying me, guys. Like, I, I don't get it. I really, I, I really don't get it. Please don't buy this game this year. It looks alright, but it literally is the exact same game as last year on the exact same engine. Nothing changed about it but a few uh, UI interfaces. And they're, they're trying to bring everything back from what everyone wanted. Like the red dot, slide cancelling. All 16 maps from the original Modern Warfare 2 is going into Modern Warfare 3 at launch. Which should have happened last year because like my point earlier on. You release a game like Modern Warfare 2 which is, is a title to a classic Call of Duty. It's, it's like... Say the Godfather gets, like, recasted or whatever the fucking terminology is for that. But say the co the Godfather remake gets, like, a green work. That studio knows that it's it cannot fill the shoes of the original, but it has to try its best. You have to be able to fill the shoes of the original Modern Warfare 2 whenever you're releasing a game as Modern Warfare 2. At least that's what my head would be if I was an Activision developer or Infinity War developer, or whatever the fuck it is, that would be my mindset going into it, and I would tell the entire team, look, we need to literally make this game as good as it was in 2009, if we want to have everyone back, we need to go back, that's it, completely, I don't, but no, like I say, everyone just puts the cap on, and moves on, because they get paid from it, and I mean, I would too, Fuck it, I would too. I'd put the cap on and fucking go on with it. No, I'm literally joking. I would drop $1.5 million to just give my opinion on the game and tell them that it was shit. It's probably nothing towards $1.5 million, but it's a scenario. Think about it. Literally think about it. I don't get it. Guys, please don't buy Modern Warfare 3 this year. Like I've said 500 fucking times, I'm going on a mad tangent here apologize thank you for listening thank you for being here if you did enjoy please like subscribe comment all of that good stuff this might be one of my last call of duty videos in all honesty
because the game's going to dirt. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.